About 25 million Americans suffer from asthma. For people with severe forms of that disease, every single breath can be a struggle. But as Courtney Friedman tells us, there's new hope for those patients. A year ago, Lynn Coca never dreamed she'd be able to exercise like this. Her severe asthma made just about every activity a challenge. I would take a few, you know, a few feet running and then it would be like, who, <laughs> you know, I couldn't do it so much, so. Lynn tried inhalers and oral meds, but nothing eased her symptoms. Could never quite understand why, you know, I couldn't get rid of all this congestion. Then Lynn's doctors at Cleveland Clinic suggested she try something new, a class of medicines called biologics. For patients with severe asthma who have been suffering for years, this is now the time where we are seeing some hope. Standard treatments for asthma only address inflammation in the body. Biologics target specific pathways that trigger symptoms. For instance, they can zero in on any antibody that's known to cause an allergic response in people with allergic asthma. If we can figure out which pathway is particularly uh, causing the most problems, we can try and target that. There are currently three biologics on the market, but many more are in development. In clinical trials, these drugs lowered asthma flare-ups, some by about 50%. They also lowered the rate of hospital and ER visits and reduced the need for steroid drugs. Lynn receives an injection of Biologic every four weeks. She said she noticed improvement right away. Yeah, within three days. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Now she can do anything and go anywhere without her asthma holding her back. You get your life back. Come on. Totally, 100%. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Candidates for biologic treatment are patients with severe forms of asthma that haven't been helped with the standard treatments.